Hi, Crossroads Church. We're so glad to be bringing this update to you about what God is doing around the world. We just bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. We're glad that you care and that you're interested. Andre just opened in prayer before we began this taping and he said, Jesus, we know who you are. We know that you're still healing. You're still giving hope to people who are in despair. You're still finding people who are broken and forgotten by the world and sending young men and women who care about them with the message of your love. Thank you, Jesus. And we just say a big amen to that. We're so thankful to be part of a team that is truly global. And we're excited to share with you that in spite of the pandemic, the actual work of Global Disciples has hardly slowed down at all. And I want to just share one brief story and then Andre will pick it up from here. Um, five years ago, God spoke to our leadership team and said, you guys need to be training more leaders locally. And at that point, you know my life at least, I was running all over the world uh, for months and months and months. So five years ago, we started developing our training materials for local leaders. Do you know five years ago, we had 5% of our leaders on the ground who were certified to train. Today, 75%. Right. And so we've got 75% of our training programs continuing without our leadership team that's grounded here in North America. Isn't that exciting? We think it is. Hey, some more good news from, from us. Uh, last year, um, with your support, we were able to see 3,507. Wow. Seven churches planted around the world in least reached areas and communities. Uh, we're so proud of that and due to those churches being planted in their work of evangelism in their areas saw 83,515 people come to faith in Jesus Christ which is absolutely outstanding. I did the math for you um, because math is not my strong uh, point but that's 229 people per week, 33 people per day encountering the love of Jesus, finding their hope their future, their purpose, their passion in Him, that is absolutely incredible and we couldn't do it without you. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your involvement and your partnership with us. Lives are being changed on a daily basis and we wanted to share one of those stories. It's a young man called Alex um, who got his heart on fire for the Lord. <laughs> Watch Alex's story here. When I was a child, many people were dying. Many homes, children were abandoned. Malnourishment in, among the children. There was a lot of screaming, a lot of gunshots. The government and the rebels were just hunting for each other like this. Even the children, even the aged, everyone went dying because of the war situation. There was no value of human life before them. When two of my brothers were brutally killed in the war, I lost all hope ever. Frankly speaking, if I met the men who had killed them, my intention was to kill them. Altogether, we lost two brothers and three sisters. And that's the much pain I carried for long within me. And we began to live in our own nation as refugees looking for food, looking for water, looking for new friends that could welcome us. I asked God, why? If you are alive, why did you permit all this? Wouldn't you rescue us? I was a lonely man, full of frustrations. But then things changed literally. When I began to live among the refugees, a team of evangelists through a Global Disciples Outreach Program. Describe Jesus as the Redeemer. I kept reflecting on their own testimony, where God got them from, the tears that Christ has wiped out of their eyes. I said I needed this Jesus today. After I received Jesus and after I had been prayed for, my mentality changed. The old mind is moving out of me. A new mind is coming in. And true, he became my joy slowly. 
That's when I began to say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Lord, I thank you that I didn't die even like them. You protected me. And I really thank the Lord for the impact of the training I received through Global Disciples. I was spiritually transformed and blessed. I learned to worship. I learned to preach. I began to focus more on the least reached places. And in me, there is now potential to reach out and testify to many people. Now, when I look behind today, all I see is a testimony. Because of my training with Global Disciples and all the help Jesus has given us through the training, we have been able to plant 44 churches. And we still have the desire to plant more. It's hard to believe sometimes that these churches came up out of my ministry. I looked at myself as so small and very incapable. You know those wounds sometimes they go slowly. Yeah, the pains, they go slowly, the emotions. The memories of it affected my brain for a long time. Even until today when it comes to my mind, I still say, Lord, sorry, I thought wrongly, forgive me. I w I'm not the first one to suffer. When I read the Bible today, I found that people like Paul, they suffered to some extent, even in the prisons. Silas, Daniel, Jesus himself was betrayed and, you know, suffering is not the end of it. And this is now my focus. I should work hard to see that everyone takes the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord. The Redeemer is sufficient for me and will do everything. Today I'm free. I can now do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Like Global Disciples came to Uganda, now we have to go more, even beyond the villages, to push the work more further, to reach the least rich places. Many people are crying out there. They are waiting for Global Disciples to reach them. And we are the people to go. Isn't Alex's story um, exhilarating? in a spiritual way, isn't it? What a story of hope. We want to thank you so much for partnering with us. We couldn't do this without a huge number of people believing that it's worth their investment to walk with us uh, relationally in prayer and in financial support. So just a big thank you from us. May you be encouraged as a result of this update. God bless.